Roll camera. Speed. Action. The Affected was born out of workshops that we ran when we were creating the garden. The garden was a post-apocalyptic theatre show and what the young people were most excited by was the idea of the world ending because people became so greedy they used up all its resources. That's really the idea we're pushing here and by turning it into a film we're hoping to make it even more exciting. <coughs> Transient Film Exchange are a great company to work with. They're basically quite similar in their perfectionism to SPID. They work with young people and they're inspired as we are to create work which is of the highest quality. What really attracted me to this project more than anything is the opportunity to give young people a chance to come on board such a project who wouldn't otherwise have this opportunity and to be involved in the creative process of the film, i.e. to help to build the script to new heights, to help to create sets, to talk about what costume they might wear, to talk about their character. There's a lot of freedom for a collective group of people to come and take charge and responsibility of this film. That's good. Hold that. That's fine? Hold that. Next. Got that? That's why that's good thing when I just came here. Okay, can you get me then, uh, just get me a as tight as you can on stew. Okay, you also worked with Ashan Naeem and the prestigious Transient yes. Film Exchange uh, team. How did you find that? Um, they're, they're wicked directors, like, they have fun but they work hard at the same time. They're also really clear with what they want you to do, like, you might do something and they'll be like, right, do you think there's another way you could try it, maybe? And then, um, yeah, so they're really clear about what they want you to do. And... Yeah, they're just lots of fun, really. <laughs> if you want to make the great films, you've got to have the dream team. And I don't want to work with anything less. It's got to be the dream team or nothing. And working with the people on this film, I saw some very, very talented people with great enthusiasm, ability. I mean, for example, you've got Nozomi Matsuyama, who's this uh, legendary sound woman. There's no stopping her, you know, she goes to get her sound. Every time I look in the monitor, I can see her boom just hovering uh, into shot, you know, and that's a good sign. That's a sign that this lady, she is on the ball, you know, she's not messing around. Like you got Charlie, she's just moving mountain. I mean, you tell this girl, make this happen, you know, make a volcano erupt and she can do it, you know, she can do it with nothing. And, and I love that sort of drive that uh, Charlie has. Without that strong production manager, you can't make great films. And not only that, she also brings beautiful set design. I don't want to be there um, saying, oh, look, where does that go? Where should this cut off hand be in the shop? I want a set designer to come to me and say, I think it should be here, it works here, you know? And that's what uh, members in this team are bringing. You've got Sabina Sweeney, you know, fantastic makeup artist who offers a lot of ideas. And not only that, she's very well organized. She knows exactly what she's doing or what's meant to happen in what part of the script. And she brings initiative and I'm a big fan of that. And also they're, they're wonderful people as well. We have a laugh and you know, they're, they're, they're buzzing, they're buzzing. Filmmaking is like traveling, it's like a journey together of people coming together. It brings people together, people with great skill, with enthusiasm, as I said before, and initiative. And also these people, what I liked about them so much is that they rose to any challenge. No challenge was too big for them. Like Naz said, you know, I don't like the people who say that, oh, I can't reach the mountain. You know, then we can move the mountain towards us. Abracadabra. I met Ash um, at a show he was doing, he was filming some, a fashion show for my mum. And um, I basically I went along because I knew he was going to be there um, and got chatting to him and then we put emailing back and forth and he invited me to come down and help because he knew I wanted to work on film and he thought he could give me a hand and he did and I hope you're very very grateful forever. Stuart don't be side on be a bit more there yeah face always faces I want you somehow to be a bit more facing each other a bit more yeah that's it okay. But is it like two parts of me? Oh, it's amazing. I love both of them. I really do. In fact, I love everybody on set. Everybody that I've worked with has been so good. I mean, Ash is kind of like a teacher. He's very cool. You kind of pick so much up from him as you go along. And Naz as well, because they're so different. You kind of get both sides of every story. They both have very different techniques, different styles. They both like different things. So you tend to get more out of things, which I really like. And I like the fact that they get on so well. Um, 
and it just kind of creates a really nice atmosphere. That's my whole fucking point! Okay! Still me. Am I? It's gone less, it's gone less. Oh, yeah. okay. That's my whole fucking point! Okay! I admit it! We're fucked! That's good, that's good! Yeah, yeah! yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we're looking for, right. man. I really enjoy working with Ash and Aima. It's quite interesting to work with them. Um, two directors at the same time who don't overlap each other and don't step in each other's toes they kind of complement each other really well which I think is a great quality because sometimes if there's too many people being involved in one thing you kind of don't know who to follow but they're very they're very good and um, before we started filming we did quite a lot of workshop and improvisations and things like that and I think that really helps me anyway to uh, to kind of find the character and um, and also just to find out, you know, what they were looking for. Uh, but they're very clear, and yeah, it's 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 been a lot of fun. All those news reporters saying, "Oh, you're such a big man." Everyone loves Paper Jace, doesn't they? Oh no, you're nothing now. Look at you. I know. You're it. dirt. You'd be more zombie. You're dirt. You're too human, Paper Jace. More zombie. Anyway. The set is really relaxed. Uh, everybody has been really lovely to, to kind of be around. There's been very, very little tension and everybody's just kind of got on with the work and I think really enjoyed it. I mean, I've had a, I've had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> My approach uh, to bring out the best performance and actors begins in rehearsal. I bring things out of them using many different methods and techniques by also giving them some freedom as well and also throwing things at them suddenly and see how they react. How do you get on with Ash and Naeem? Uh, well, very well. They're very good to work with. They're very motivating people on set. Um, hard workers, <laughs> but uh, in a good way, pushing things forward and very good at translating, you know, getting across what they want from you as well. And uh, very patient at the same time. Mate, let me tell you something. Since the carnage began, the real carnage, I've been searching, properly searching for someone Decent. I need them now. You see, amongst the rubble, I found something. Your challenge is how can you deliver this line and be holding your head completely still? Yes. The whole thing. I guess it's not so easy to get back. There's no one left to help us. We came to find him, and pretty soon he's going to find us. I want to break a story. Isn't that what we're here to do? You're moving your head out of that line, kid. Sorry. Isn't that what we're here to do? Better. You'll never know what it's like to love. I love the preparation. Like, I got to know my character well. That was good, because sometimes you just get there and you do it. And just, you don't feel as confident with it. It's been really good. They give really good notes on, on it, make you feel a lot sort of calm and easy. And I think when you're most relaxed, I think that's when you sort of, you come out yourself, to be fair. Everyone's so nice to you. It's easy to sort of come out and talk to everyone. And, no, it's good. It's really good. Everyone helps each other a lot and it just makes it a lot easier, really.